Hello there folks and welcome to Bullets for Box. Today we're going to be comparing the Bergara Wilderness Ridge against the Hawa Carbon Elevate. Let's start with the Bergara. Now as you can see it's an aftermarket Wilkes Furiosa chassis, but don't worry we will be comparing it in its original factory configuration and looking at the original stock. So let's start with that stock. It has about a one inch thick rubber recoil pad, sling swivel stud, it's Polymer reinforced with some fibers. Traditional uh, style stock here. Slim grip here. Checkering for added grippiness. Features a metal, metal bottom metal uh, and metal trigger guard. Has metal pillar bedding. And coming forward, the barrel is free floated when in this stock. Has some checkering here for grippiness. Average, I would say, forend. You know, not overly fat or too skinny. And then it has a front sling swivel stud. It does have this like soft touch rubber across the entire body of it. So pretty grippy. Nothing super remarkable there. Let's take a look at the Bergara. Has a Cerakoted receiver. A recoil lug sandwich between the barrel and the receiver. Uses a Remington 700 footprint. And it's bedded when in that original stock against those metal pillar bedded beddings. Side bolt release, tactical bolt knob, polished bolt body, two locking lugs, plunger ejector, and a little mini clock extractor. Tactical bolt knob, rides super smooth in the receiver. Really nice feel to it. Two position safety, when on safe, it does not lock the bolt in place. 90 degree bolt throw, features a Bergara adjustable trigger down to about two, two and a half pounds. Very nice single stage trigger. And then it features a Cerakoted 24 inch barrel um, and it comes with a radial muzzle brake. I believe it's threaded 5 8 by 24. All right, now let's take a look at the Hawa Carbon Elevate. The Hawa Carbon Elevate is available in mini, long, and short action, um, but I don't believe as many calibers um, as the Bergar Wilderness Ridge, so take note of that. Features a Limb saver recoil pad that's slimmer in design. Sling swivel stud. Relatively comb on this uh, rifle. Hand laid carbon fiber though. Much nicer stock in that regard. A little bit large, larger palm swell here. And then coming forward you have a metal bottom metal. Floor plate. 5 plus 1 in short action. Hack 2 stage trigger. It's not really user or adjustable. Comes at about 2.5 to 3.5 pounds. Uh, and does have a little bit of over travel, but not too bad of a trigger. Push tab, side bolt release here. Comes with two locking lugs, plunger ejector, Saco style extractor, toolless firing pin removal. Doesn't run as smooth in the receiver, has a little bit of zipper sound, but still not bad. Three position safety, locks the bolt in place when on safe. One forward, you can remove the bolt, but it's on safe. All the way forward, you can fire it. Barrel is not free floated in this particular model. It does come with a carbon fiber wrapped 24 or 22 inch barrel, depending on the caliber, I believe. And it has a front sling swivel stud. The contour of the foreign though is pretty similar in the way it feels. And it is threaded 5 8 by 24. In mini action, this rifle is like sub five pounds, I think. In short action, it's quite a bit heavier. It's like 6.7 pounds. It's really difficult to find accurate rate weights on Hawa's rifles, um, which is kind of funny. It's almost like they intentionally make it hard to, to find. But that's an ultra lightweight rifle, in my opinion. And it does feature uh, pillar bedding as well. I okay. The receiver, the receiver on the Hawa is not Cerakoted, something to take note of. And it does, but it does have a integral recoil lug that's really beefy. So I like the design of the receiver a little bit better than the Bergara, personally. All right, now that we've gone over some of the basic specs, let's head to the range and see how these perform. Woo, that's accurate. Oh, 
All right, so the Bergara is a 300 PRC, so it's gonna be a little bit more inherently difficult for me to shoot consistently accurate because of the recoil. And the Hala in this case that I have on hand is a 6.5 Creedmoor, which is kind of inherently accurate and easy to shoot. So take note of that. The Bergara fed, extracted, worked flawlessly, runs super smooth when you're running the bull or picking up around. Um, triggers, very nice, crisp, clean, very little over travel. And that rifle shoots extremely accurately out of the box with factory ammunition. The Hala shot extremely accurately as well with factory ammunition, um, easily capable of sub MOA and as well as the Bergara is. And the stock is definitely, in my opinion, superior in its design as well as the receiver in its design. However, the trigger, not as nice as the Bergara's um, and the bolt doesn't run quite as nice and smooth and quiet in the receiver. Apart from that though, um, very nice rifle and also works great. Doesn't come with a muzzle brake, that's also something to know. So in closing, what are my thoughts? Both are super accurate out of the box. Given the very small sampling of factory ammunition, it's impossible for me to really say one would be inherently more accurate than the other. Um, if I was looking for a rifle available in more caliber selection, and I wanted that smooth action, a little bit nicer trigger, and uh, it's Cerakoted, I'd pick the Bergara. If I'm looking for something that might be a little bit lighter in weight, um, and I want that nicer stock that's carbon fiber and a carbon fiber wrapped barrel, I'm gonna pick the Hala. Take note that the Bergara does weigh quite a bit more at 7.9 pounds. So if you're going on a long backcountry hunt, um, you might choose the Hala Elevate over the Bergara. If you're not going on a longer hunt, you want that Cerakote job, take the Bergara. Both excellent hunting rifles, fantastic. No issues with either one of them. Hope you enjoyed this comparison of the Bergara Wilderness Ridge versus the Hawa Carbon Elevate. Thanks for watching Bolts for Bucks. Check out this next video and subscribe.